Brown for Austin. Austin. My name is Austin. My name is Brock. My name is Jackson. And we are a lot alive. So me and Austin were in baseball as freshmen. Uh, we got expensive gloves that were like two to three hundred dollars each, and we didn't want to lose those ever. But our lockers would get broken into, and people would steal. Austin got his gloves stolen, and it cost him a lot to get a new glove. And we didn't want that to happen anymore, so we came up with the idea of a lock locker. These are like two hundred to three hundred dollar gloves, by the way. So it's a very important product. So the main thing we want to fix, or the main thing our product does, is prevent break-ins. Basically, it's a face ID padlock, and we want to make sure nobody can get in. So the key fob is like a hanger, hairpin anything else you name it. So we want to take away the key fob, just make sure it's a face ID, so that's all you need. You don't need to remember any combinations, four digit combinations, anything like that. Leave your key at home, all you just need is your face. So for our target audience, we wanted to target mainly private schools with like a higher income, because this is like a more expensive product and we know that. So uh, moving on to our Cam and Sam, also the numbers. So for our total addressable market, our starting figure was 2,000 private or middle or high schools in Texas. So we brought that down to 50% of those are Texas private middle or high schools, with 90% of them having sports programs. So we wanted to target the sports programs because they have lockers and facilities, and um, they would definitely want to use our product to lock those up. Uh, we brought to a total of 900 with an annual frequency of purchase at 50, purchase at 50, so that's, they're buying 50 a year or however many they need, it's typically 50. Uh, with the average unit price of 80, the number of units 45,000, and our total addressable market money revenue would be 3.6 million. Then for our starting figure on your service pool, addressable market would start with 900, with our first assumption being 10% of those private middle and high schools in Texas will be our customers. So that brought us to a total of 90 with our number of units at 4,500 and our revenue at 360,000. And then this is our basically our revenue stream of what we're hoping to do in our first year. So it gradually goes up by 10% growth rate. So 50, 100, 150, 200, it goes up by 50. And then, uh, yeah. So with our competition, the direct competitors, of course, we have Master Lock. They're, they're the lock company, and then we're trying to beat them out. And the indirect competition that we have is Apple with their face ID technology that they have come up with. And with that, we have our face ID padlock, which leads into our prototype. Let's pass this around. The blue part in the center is what we made up to be like the camera that scans your face to unlock it. And we wanted to have like a sleek design, so I painted black over all like the numbers and everything. And so, yeah, that's our lock. So what we're asking for is $100,000 for 10%, and we are planning on using that for market expansion and technology. Obviously, with face ID technology, it's going to cost a lot. So, hence the $100,000. Thank you. So there's no dial. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, no comments. Like I mentioned before, we want to make sure nobody has to use any combinations of keys. It's right. easily forgettable. Right. So you're marketing to schools on this one. That's your that's your middle and, and high school and the private school sector. Yeah. Um, you're. What's to say that I mean, granted that three hundred dollar gloves are expensive gloves. But what's to say that the, the school is going to want to present their athletes versus? Or is, are you marketing to the kids, or the parents of the kids? Yeah. That's the question. Is the school paying for the, the locks, or the individual paying for the locks? It's the school. It's the school. Yeah. They'll pass by the locks. Yeah. So or they're, like their sports, or for the students if they need to. Okay. So what happens if the technology fails? What's the backup to um, it? We have an app that you can unlock it on your phone if you need to. Yeah. Is there going to be a mechanical, just like fail safe, like if it comes with a key, so yeah. if you yeah, have we're, to? We're, we're, we're <coughs> making that in the future, if you haven't gotten there yet, so yeah. What's, why not just use it one way? Mm -hmm. Is there a difference? Yeah. 
Yeah, it's way easier to steal uh, over in the actual face, like the three D face that you know over in face ID looks a lot cooler too, so yeah. <laughs> it works looked, better. Now. What's what's the cost of gonna be to produce one of those? Have you looked at that? Um we did talk around like what's like a hundred like forty dollars I got forty forty bucks for each so we'd be selling it for around eighty so whatever. I'm assuming that it's coming from overseas. Yeah. It'll be yeah, matched by the same yeah. overseas. This one. And if it breaks, are y'all going to have a team that will come out and fix those? Or if it's broken, <laughs> it's broken it's replaced? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Okay. How are you marketed to schools? I mean, their budgets can be pretty tight even with having to hire in schools. Well, we, play, we know a lot of athletes and everything. We definitely go around and like create surveys to like see how many like how much they've had stolen from the lockers because almost everybody I know on the baseball team, they, no matter how expensive it is or not expensive it is, they've had something stolen. Mm -hmm. Like in Rocky three hundred dollar gloves. So I know a couple football players that have their nice commander gloves or whatever that they wear stolen mm -hmm. from their lockers and everything. So they don't. They're stolen because they don't lock their lockers. That's <laughs> 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 the next question. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we mainly want to just go around schools and asking everybody and everything. We definitely make sure she has it. So that why do schools? I'm a techie. I buy everything that comes out techie first of all. So, so why do schools? Well, we wanted to target private schools mostly because they're higher class and we feel like they'd be most like prone to buying them, especially with like all the higher school athletics and everything and all the money that goes involved with them. We feel like they would be the best customer to target. But what's the process? If you, like when you had your glove stolen, what's the process? Are you go to coach and, and you go, hey, coach, you have a glove stolen? Or go, hey, coach, my. I don't know. I go. My glove was right here, and maybe I don't know. I mean, honestly, I don't know what the process is. But the only thing you can do is just say, "Hey, coach, I got my glove stolen." You think maybe we could lock the fix locker room? <laughs> fix up the locker room. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just playing. No, no. I mean, the first thing that I would say is, "Did you lock? Did you lock the locker?" Lock the locker? Yeah. And they're going to say, wanna sound "They're going to say, they're going to say, yeah." And then I'm going to go there. I mean, we we actually run through the locker rooms and we'll not every day, but just check. Right. If they're not locking them, like they run because mm -hmm. sure, because I can't control who goes in and out of the locker room when it's JV freshman. I'm, I'm Absolutely, I'm but no, no, no. I, I, I think that no, I agree with that. I think that uh, you have access to those locker rooms, um, but at the same time, you know, if you're going to market to a middle a middle school, a private private middle school, private high school, they're going to have to have some kind of reports coming to them of athletes getting stuff stolen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, in, in a private school setting, you have less athletes. More, I don't think as many athletes like you, like you might have here, a guy or, or a Denton High or whatever. Um, I think they're well well known to one another as well. So you're probably talking about outside individuals from the, from the athletic department coming in and taking things up. You also make them want to do experiments in like gyms and warehouses and stuff like that too, yeah. where not everybody knows each other and things are more well, likely to be stolen. Yeah, that's a good point, sort of. I think that that's more maybe where you should start. Yeah. I, I just the school the school piece because let's say let's say you were to ask me and she bring it to me and this is something that head football coach where I and I want these. I'm not gonna be able to get it through the district. I'm gonna have to go to my booster club and say, hey, can you afford? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm, then I have to make a decision of whether do I want to buy this implement or this cool thing or do I want to buy this? Where the individual like if your parents have spent over your lifetime of sports. Mm -hmm you know, tens of thousands of dollars on lessons and yeah. equipment and all that stuff. They'll pay, yeah. they'll buy a lock. Yeah, yes. yeah exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a $1,200 bike. Yeah. I mean, an $80, you know, lock is nothing. I mean, my kids play tennis, so I mean, $1,200 for a tennis racket easily. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for me, I would buy it. My son, no, he's not gonna come home and go, I'm gonna buy an $80 lock. Mm -hmm. Mom, yeah. <laughs> Mom's going to, so yeah. you're gonna have to really sell me and I'm a techie so I like buying anything that's new and innovative you know I don't so I think the market is, is, is better suited to going to yeah. gyms clubs yeah and kind of like secondary market yeah because yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, once you sell it to me then it's going to be like hey okay you have you know take this to school and then once you do that then it's going to be like hey I like that mm -hmm. you know mom can I have one yeah. <laughs> you know it, it's it's the new new factor, the fun factor, right? The new iPhone, y'all gotta have the latest and greatest, right? <laughs> Are there any other products like this out there? No, we haven't had any. We looked it up, did a bunch of research, but there's no other things that we found. Yeah. Like it's just fingerprints 
Sacred from the first yeah, priest. That's what I have right here, too. So you just talk about battery power inside that thing and everything. Yeah, you would have to charge it, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it shouldn't take too much power to uh, just activate it once and then go on with the day. Probably yeah. charge that once while you do. Have yeah. you thought about putting solar in it? Because yeah. you know, in the locker room, you've got all fluorescent lights. That's supposed to be charged. Mm -hmm. And so solar panels light. go through fluorescent lights? Yeah, he'll figure it out. All right. Pretty yeah. simple. Most of my uh, gaming cameras are all somewhere like that, small, very small. Yeah. Any other questions? Awesome. Thank you guys so much.